And I know a lot of people have said, well, how was it outing if you're a trans woman? Um, doesn't that make you a man? And that's not the point. So you admit you're definitely a man. Got it. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Ty Rivera here, the absolute best LGBTQ comedian in the world. All right, so here's what's going on, you guys. Neighborhood Talk had this juicy headline, and we'll let her finish what she's saying in a second, but this was the juicy headline it had. Oop, trans S worker posts alleged screenshots of Le'Veon Bell sliding into her DMs after he said he voted for Trump because he, quote, doesn't want his daughter to compete or share a locker room with men. Reasonable enough statement if you ask me. I don't know Le'Veon. I'm not familiar with him. I did some research though and found out that he is a former NFL player. They played for the Baltimore Ravens and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in his last year in the NFL, which was 2021. And then as of 2022, he started pursuing boxing. That's all I know about him. I'm not going to pretend like I'm a sports guy. Some gays do like sports. I'm not one of them. So what happened was this trans woman, this star of adult cinema, her name is is Lexi Hex. I think she's really an OF girl though, to tell you the truth, which no judgment for anyone that knows me. I'm very open about my past. I was an S worker when I was younger, so I'm not trying to judge, but I am going to go into how I think this is not only bad for her in that way, but also how she's just all the way around really done nothing is what she's done. Because I know these people think that they're like shaming people and stuff like that. Because what she did was she retweeted where he had said, his thing and then she put spewing this rhetoric when dot 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 and yes this was on my NSFW page he knew I was a doll which if you guys don't know doll is code for trans woman and NSFW if anybody's not familiar not safe for work so on her actual grown up page he had messaged her or that's what she claims and the message just says what's good and I don't really understand what she's saying about spewing this rhetoric, I guess what she alluded to taking issue was the fact that he referred to trans women as men when he was putting his tweet out. But let's play her full video really quick, just so you guys can see. Don't let me forget, like, comment, and subscribe. We're on our way to 100,000 followers. We're making good progress, so don't let me down. It's never my intention to out DL men just because. And I know a lot of people have said, well, how was it outing if you're a trans woman? Um, doesn't that make you a man? And that's not the point. What I'm trying to say is that if you're outwardly saying disgusting things about trans women all the time and spewing anti-trans rhetoric, but trying to get at us on the low or fantasizing about trans women, you just look like a hypocrite. And yeah, I did what I did. And sorry, not sorry. Okay, so if you're just talking about that tweet and saying spewing disgusting rhetoric about trans people, there's really nothing disgusting about what he said. And I hate to break it to you, but we are past the years where people are being sensitive to that anymore. You could have gotten away with this in 2016 maybe, and everybody would have had your back and been like, that's disgusting, that's transphobic. But with everything that has happened with trans women that make no effort in women's locker rooms and women not being able to use their own spaces anymore and then trans women invading women's sports which again I say trans women because the trans women that are doing all this stuff don't look anything like women don't behave like the trans women that I came up around because to keep it a hundred percent which I always do with everybody I have had trans friends for the last 30 years and none of them have ever been trying to creep anybody out none of them have ever been trying to invade women's spaces my friends were all passable so this new school version that wants to look like me and claim to be a woman and then go in the women's bathroom and act like their rights are being violated when somebody says that they shouldn't be in the women's bathroom or they were uncomfortable with it and then the law isn't helping anything out because the laws are making it so you can self ID into being a woman so that makes it so a person that looks like me can just wake up one morning and be like I'm a woman now and everybody just has to respect me as a woman and legally I can't be removed from women's spaces and a person like this my point in 
saying all that, which sorry I get upset, but I'm just so tired of these people ruining it for everybody. And this dumb girl right here should understand that what he was saying does not apply to her. Like if you saw her in the video, which you just did, you know that she looks passably like a woman. So she should have just seen it as, okay, that doesn't apply to me. And I don't say this in a way where I don't practice what I preach because a lot of times people will be saying stuff about gay men or LGBT people and the stuff that the LGBT community is supposedly upset about. Or they'll also be talking about things that they're offended about that the LGBT community is talking about. And they'll be like, gay people are saying this. And I'll in my head just be like, no, we're not. Or at least I'm not. But I don't take it on as my argument because I know that they're right. There is a certain group of people that are doing that. Just like this girl should have just been like, yeah, I know what he's talking about because there are those people that are claiming to be trans that aren't really trans and invading women's spaces. And those people do need to hear that they are men. I'm tired of everybody having to tiptoe around people's feelings and not being able to call a spade a spade. And that's what's currently making it so that we can't actually protect women or women's spaces because we're not allowed to use the words in the way that they were intended. Also, what does she care how he's voting or what he's saying out there? Does it really affect her life or does it just affect some of the moose and drag that she hangs out with? Maybe you have friends that are burly bitches and don't look like women and make no effort. Get away from them or at least tell them to get their look together and then come back and hang out with you because that's heat you don't need. I really feel like every passable trans woman should just completely shut their mouth on this entire subject because it really doesn't affect your life. You know you're not being a creep. You know people don't bother you or clock you in everyday life. So just keep your mouth shut and nobody ever has to be the wiser. And I know some of the straight women in my comments are gonna be like, I would know right away that's a man. Sure, Agnes. To be honest, I've been around trans women all my life and some of them just are passable enough if you don't know their history or you haven't seen them online or that kind of thing. They're just passable enough that nobody's gonna know. And I don't know why you bother to out anybody because it's exactly like you said. If you're supposedly the same as any other woman and that's the thinking that we're going with, then how do you end up weaponizing your womanhood in order to out somebody that's on the DL? Because a woman may get mad at a man, but if she says that a man was trying to slide in her DMs, that doesn't turn into her outing them. A real woman I'm talking about. So if your claim is that you're a real woman too, then how is it that being with you is some kind of weapon that you can use against people. Oh, so you admit that you know you're a man. That's what you're saying to me when you say that. So stop trying to bullshit the rest of us and expect us to live by these rules that you're not even living by. Stop expecting the rest of us to live in the land of make-believe full time while you just vacation there. Because that's what you're telling me when you say that a man sliding into your DMs is somehow something that he should be ashamed of or something that you're able to hold over him. And you exposing his DMs or the fact that he might have been attracted to you means absolutely nothing anyway. What point were you making? That he can't be attracted to a group of people but then still understand that there are differences between that group and the other group? Maybe the differences is why he's attracted to that kind of person in the first place. I'm not saying he is. For all I know, he really was fooled. Because sometimes people get like, yeah, you say you got fooled. Did you really? But sometimes when trans women really are passable, they will have points where they didn't have that they were trans in their profile. I don't know when in your history he hit you up or if that really was on your NSFW page. You didn't share a lot outside of a little more context for the DMs, which was he sent what's good and she sent hi. And then he sent where you at? And then he was like, you have me come to LA, which I'm sure meant you ever come to LA. And then she sent, I just got back from there. He sent, oh damn, when you coming back, LOL. Or what's your number? And then he put like the eyes emoji. And this was in November of 2023, November 27th, 2023. So I don't know what all you had on your bio at that time. I know your socials now say that you're trans. Also, you are in S work. And one of the things I hate the most about people in S work, which I hate 
hated this about Stormy Daniels and it has nothing to do with the fact that I voted for Trump or that I'm a Trump supporter. It's just my personal views on S work is unless that man didn't pay you for your service, in other words, kind of robbed you or did you dirty in some kind of business way, then why are you outing people anyway? A part of your job in S work is actually keeping secrets, being discreet. So now no DL men are going to feel safe hitting you up, which I'm sure is a decent amount of your income. How many celebrities do you think are going to hit you up? How many rich and powerful men do you think are going to hit you up? Because for me, and especially when I was doing S work, I didn't care about anybody's political leanings. Also, a lot of times, successful men are on the right. Hate to break it to anybody, but that's just the truth of the matter. In a lot of cases, and I know some of you are like, a lot of Hollywood celebrities are on the left. A lot of Hollywood celebrities lie to you about the way they vote. And if we're talking about comedy specifically, which is what I'm in, and this is again where I'm still good at keeping a secret, I won't name names, but I can tell you that a lot of your favorite comedians that you assume are on the left and choose to never talk about politics are really on the right. Right. How do I know? Because since I'm an open Trump supporter, sometimes they'll pull me aside when they see me and be like, hey, Ty, I just want you to know I really do support what you're doing. I just can't do it because I can't mess up my money. I got a wife. I got kids. And I'm like, do you, boo boo? Keep your secret as long as I get your vote. And that really is the way I feel about it. You know, I don't care about the public part of it. It's the support I need. And that's the way this girl should see it. How does it make sense to screw yourself this way? Because she had also threatened to out all the celebrities that she's had slide in her DMs because she was bullied when she was younger and whatever else. Girl, get past that. I don't know why you're even still holding on to when I was younger, I did this or I've kept people's secrets. Yeah, that's a part of S work is keeping secrets. If you don't like the job, don't do the job. Also, we all live in 2024, Lexi, and there are so many men that won't admit to it and some that will that watch trans movies. That's just become a common thing with certain straight men. And there's so many men nowadays, and women for that matter, that really don't care what anybody else is doing in their bedroom or what they fantasize about or who they hook up with. There are so many people that that just is not a concern for them. So even you outing him was very ineffective because who cares? I mean, yeah, people will laugh about it or gossip about it for a day or two, but I can tell you as a Trump supporter, which somebody put in my comments the other day, I bet you wouldn't go to a Trump rally. I've been to three Trump rallies and people are very nice to me at the Trump rallies. Actually, they want to take pictures with me like I'm a prize winning pig. But what I was trying to get at is a lot of Trump supporters don't even care about gay, straight, bi, trans, any of that stuff. For the most part, we're all just trying to get along and do what makes the most sense and also keep women safe. So if it's a person like you that we're talking about, most people wouldn't even know. So while I wouldn't say everybody would condone it, or agree with it. If you just kept your mouth shut and pissed when you had to piss and stayed out of the bathroom when you don't have to be in there, your life would be unaffected by any of this. So why go inserting yourself other than to virtue signal, which is really what you're doing is virtue signaling. Because like I said, when it comes to Le'Veon Bell, people will gossip about it. They'll have a little bit of fun. They'll key key about it for a day or two and then they'll move on. It will not affect his life in any any way at all. He will continue to be him. He's already been taking enough heat as a black Trump supporter, I guarantee you. So do you think he really cares that some people will think that he likes trans women? Also, are you trying to put yourself in a dangerous situation? Because outing men like this could be a dangerous situation. And I'm not saying that's right, but I'm just saying that's something that we old school LGBT know all too well, is every once in a while, a girl will will end up getting caught up because she decided to out somebody. And unless you're a celebrity and you can afford real security, it's kind of easy to access people on these streets. So I wouldn't want to put myself in that position. And this isn't me condoning it on any level. I'm just saying this is the reality of the world that we live in in some cases, especially when you're going out of your way on social media to shame people, to out people, to embarrass people. She said she was going to out 
all the celebrities in her DMs and then she stopped. She was like, that one got too big. So now I don't know if it's okay for me to post these. I would imagine some baller hit her up and was like, you know what? You'll get choked out if you don't stop fucking around. <laughs> I've been just playing, but keeping it real at the same time. Anyway, so I guess my point is to me, this girl accomplished absolutely nothing. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. I know some of you are gonna agree with me. Just don't call me names. That's all I ask. Or if you call me names, at least attach a super thanks to it. Oh, and if you guys wanna see my video about how the gravy train has ended for the illegal immigrants in New York City, check out the video that's on your screen now. Either way, thanks for watching. This has been Ty Rivera, the absolute best LGBTQ comedian in the world. They bought into his bullshit.